On the patio, chillin', sippin' from a glass Big T in the corner, talkin' about the past Father Fortenberry tellin' tales so fast Gary Poppins flyin' high, never low, never fast DW with the beat, got that bourbon nerve flow Life cruisin' smooth, where's the sunlight glow? Conversation's deep, but the vibe is low Patio dreams, where I might just go Life on the Welcome patio, to the patio folks no Y'all know what season it is? Dear season. Spooky season. Oh, spooky season. Spooky season. Spooky. My bad. Spooky. Spooky season. Look, we're going to talk about trick-or-treating. Dear I, season. I, I don't know if you guys know where it came from. I got some pictures to show you that probably scare you, especially you, Father Uh Canadian doctors, they're starting to feel regret over the MAID program. You guys may not recall we talked about that probably about a year ago. Well, it's far worse than we even thought. I got a stad- sad story about a young man in his chat box. It, it kind of was moving. I'm not even sure you... I don't even know if I can do it mm-hmm. without a tear in my eye. Funerals that go wrong. A man got infected with a coli. Where and how? I'm going to let you know. And it's kind of funny. Jamie, Father Fortenberry, how are you, sir? I am doing well. Uh, I'm pumped up for... Uh, trick or treat. Trick or treating and, and deer season. Mm. All together. All at the same time. Yep. Uh, youth hunt's coming up and uh should be a good time. You hunt children? Yes, youth hunt. Look... One of my favorite, you uh, one of my favorite jokes on the used to be on, on TikTok. The guy's son was dressed like a predator, mm-hmm. and he, the kid jumps out and says, "I'm a uh, I'm a child predator." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "No, pretty awesome." No, we're not. We could have done that with Gary, but instead Gary's sitting there looking at his watch or something. Hey, Gary, what's up? How are you this evening? I am he's doing. Got his hat on backwards. I did. I turn it. Can I not? Game face, baby. It's my game face. It lets, actually, actually lets me get close to the mic. This is gay face. Why does it keep you from getting close to the mic? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there's with? a shadow. There's, there's a shadow. No shadow anymore. But yeah, uh, I love I love Halloween. All all Hallows <laughs> Eve. Like, he sound he he said that like like he should be wearing a helmet right now. You know, it was I, I love Halloween. Halloween where we had the uh, him in his jumpsuit. It yeah, was cold. It, yeah. it was, Remember, but it, that, that, there's a chance it's cold so hot. Week. That's one Mac looked like he got shot. It was so yeah. cold. That Mac, <laughs> so, so Mac, so. Mac is running across that yard and some, somebody oh, shot yeah. a line on him. So, I it did. Like, I it shot like a line shot. It. Yeah, just, and he just fell down. So, uh, what, that's a youth hunt season. What's, a, <laughs> what's a, a scarecrow's favorite fruit? <sighs> Corn. Hey. What? A strawberry. <laughs> oh. That's a good one. Yeah, it's magical. <laughs> No Magical one. jokes. Go to Mark. Barbara Nerd, can you save us from this? Welcome, guys. Uh, thanks for checking us out. Uh, mm. Whoa, slow down, dude. I think he's been smoking. Or <laughs> don't don't get carried high. away, no I'm more. Just, I'm just calm down today. <laughs> you need some candy, get some munchies. Oh, my or camera's something. jumping up now. That's because you're because Fortberry's no. over here. No, uh, I'm uh, saying you over here. You say you that? Shake everything. Oh well, um, I'm sorry. Uh, come back to me next time. <laughs> What? Reverse. You were reverse. Shaking. I went through go. yet. Okay. Reverse. Reverse. Uh, cheers, everybody. Uh, what y'all sipping on? Drunk. Just like you came back for that. I'm good. <laughs> Just let, leave it on him. I'm the whole gonna, show. I'm gonna leave it on him. The whole show. We're gonna get. We're gonna get to him. Do you guys remember us talking about made? Do you remember made? Nope. No, there's no way you can remember made. Remember Canada? What they were doing nope. with euthanasia? Oh, I know you remember that. Yeah, uh, that's banned, isn't it? Euthanasia. No, actually, oh. it's not. Gary uh, got it. Youth in Asia. Youth in uh, Asia. Mm, okay. has, it's a dual I meaning. I think youth can <laughs> still go to Asia. Mm. Uh huh. Youth in Asia. They're banned? <laughs> no. Asia's a band. There was a band called Youth in Asia. Mm-hmm. They were called Asia. <sighs> hey, don't worry. I was going to Google it. All right, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I think I think it was Asia, but I, I don't know. Asia. I may be wrong. And there were some youth in that Asia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Canadian probably... doctors reveal regret over euthanizing patients who were simply obese or poor. So fat, poor people Man. are getting Dude, the look, treatment. I, I got a double strike. I'm going to stop behind eight balls. So, uh, you know, last year we talked about this a little bit. That if they say balding too, I'm... <laughs> medical <laughs> assistance in dying program. It's expanded rapidly since 2016. They had 1,016. Projected 2023 stat was 15,000. 15,000 people were allowed to take their lives legally. Uh, and, you know, we talked about it then about how they were uh, how recommending about, it for people that were yeah. just sad. Well, remember the lady in the wheelchair that couldn't get a, um, a ramp? Yeah. They're like, well, yeah. what do you want better? We'll just. Yeah, I, th- I think I think that's a little misuse of it. I mean, in I, Canada, I'm heard I'm heard there's a lot of 
uh, but, horror stories. But I, but, I am aware of one story personally. Yep. That was for yes. a good reason. But do we? Yeah, why do we have a pro? It said that uh, you can legally fifteen thousand people have legally um, been euthanized. Yeah. I mean, the option is illegally. Can you illegally I mean suicide? So it's always some, illegal if you attempt it, is it not? Not in Canada. I, I, I do know if you uh, succeed, it's a death penalty. Yes, it is. <laughs> but it, but you're not really <laughs> you're not really. <laughs> can you really be penalized if you do it to yourself? <laughs> Don't say it like that. Mm, penalized. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other crime. <laughs> So, but look in Canada right now. If someone just goes and tells somebody they're sad and don't want to live anymore, they just get them approved for medically assisted. <laughs> yeah, say that, that's. There's got to be more. Uh, man, whole you're going to make me to jump get, through. You're going to make me go down a uh, road that we're not trying to. But when like people, it's not have the a, road, when people have a mental disorder, well, you shouldn't allow them. Your first thought shouldn't be, "Well, we're going to help you commit suicide, or we're going to allow you to cut off a part of your body." End of story. There was a time that you were uh, given help. Yeah. Those yes. Situations. I mean, that, that yes. was the first move is to convince you that you maybe had something going on that's not correct, not right, <laughs> and that we should provide you help. Now we just say, eh, you want to chop it off? Yeah, go ahead. If you want to kill yourself, eh, go ahead. Is it because people are just becoming more and more selfish every day? No, no, not not. Oh, I selfish. think it goes with a lot of people selfish. are so concerned about upsetting the status quo or upsetting someone's feelings. Like, but you know, the irony is, if I walk in there and want to remove my hand, hmm? they will not allow that. They yeah, will not. I'll, I'll they help will you. If not. You won't do that. I hope. <laughs> they will not re- or do that surgery. Dull knife, butter knife. Oh, let's do it with a butter knife on there. That would get. That probably get five hundred subs. Yeah, we get five hundred views. <laughs> we get five hundred subs. Yeah. That and views sick. probably and probably and probably, probably six hundred views. Yeah, but you'd only get we may get one. We all, I mean, <laughs> it'd be a first. Be we wouldn't first have to fence. worry about being banned. We'd probably be locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Bourbon nerds, you do it with the um, No, you said you was gonna do it. I'm gonna. No, I supervise. I will supervise. I'll tell you how to do it. Jeez. You no. sac- you're gonna sacrifice your hand for the show, Jamie, or are you gonna be selfish? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be so selfish, Jamie. I use both my hands though. About 60,000 people have died from this program since the program was launched in 2016. You think about that. That's six times the population of our small town we, we live in. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of stinking people. Poor I people. Hate stinking. Look, here's the thing. Canada is going to keep on with all the abortions. They're going to keep on with all this mess. They're not going to have people. This is what happened in China. China had the one kid policy. Now they're having trouble with population. They don't have enough young hey, people. Ain't no, ain't no girls. Oh, All the yeah, girls at the right. bottom of the whales, yeah. yeah. And then Japan, they're not reproducing because they don't want to have intercourse. I was, yeah, could be that too. Yeah, but anyway, so that's man. I There's don't a joke. There is a time. I know. I, can't say I know. I've been. I was holding. There is yes. a time and a place for uh, for the youth and <laughs> they're allies now. Jay. I, I <laughs> could see a function of it, but yeah. Oh, geez. So, so um, is Canada going to be attacked by Russia now because they ain't got no people? So They'll probably just open the doors and let them in. Uh, hold on, uh, hold on. Uh, did you, some, you, didn't you, North Korea start helping Russia there? Yes, day? yes. Okay. And, yeah, they like have, actively in the war? Yeah, they have Korean troops in Russia. Okay, I was just making sure I heard I mean, that. They right. have chains on their legs, so they can't get too far, but... That's terrible. They've gained like 50 pounds, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the well, you Russian. know, you get that good Russian dirt to eat. It's yeah. a lot better. It's their vodka, man. It gets you. So, mm. this has... I guess when you said the Russian invaded Canada, made me think about this. It has nothing to do with anything we're discussing. But they okay. say that the reason France fell so fast in World War II was because of World War One. They lost like fifty or sixty percent of their uh, male population. I can believe that. I got a good historical fact for you guys. Okay. Did you know that the first French fries ever fried weren't fry- fried in France? Yes. Yeah, I, I assumed that was the case. They were fried in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, Jay I, will, I will clap for that one. I'll give you the clap for that one. God. You know, I was still I, trying, I was still trying to picture them in the country. It took me a minute. To yeah, I didn't even think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's I, what I, I like hitting y'all with them historical man, facts. Man, that, okay, Gary, that's the best one you've ever done. 
I don't know. That was a good one. I think it was because I, I snuck it up on you. You know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like a next, creeper right I'm up gonna, in there. Yeah. I'm gonna move on. I'm sure he's got a good dad joke about this next <laughs> one too. We've all experienced loss in our in our lives. We've got family members that we um, have had to uh, to bury and and memorialize through a funeral service. But I don't think we any of us have experienced what this family experienced. They show up for the wake at the funeral home to find that they had brought a suit to have their loved one buried in. They open the casket. It's somebody else in their dad's suit. What? Did he pay for it? <laughs> I thought you were going to say they had a different suit on. No. A no. New Jersey family have filed a lawsuit against funeral home in a state where they allege undertakers placed the wrong body in their loved one's clothes. But listen to the right suit. I mean, that, that, that's that's bad, fish. That's bad 500. Bro. Yeah, 500. That's a Hall of Fame career. And look, the horrific error was noticed by the family when they came to pay their last respects. It was noticed. the casket ahead of public viewing. So, so let me ask you this. What if it had been a closed casket? Let me this ask you this. <laughs> If okay, if it been close, well, casting, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. But let me ask you: Is that really a suing offense? No, I don't think you so. can. Uh, well, you can sue for anything. That's a day standard. You sue I'd be like, over "Where's anything. my dad at? Y'all get yeah. him out of here." Look, maybe they had him propped up by the jukebox. Could be. I really thought she was going to say they had the wrong suit on. I no, wasn't expecting the wrong they, man. They had the right suit, wrong man. <laughs> look, wrong. That, look, you know but, what? That's that's pretty good odds, though. Did I take that? Maybe the other guy just went back. rolled him back in there, and he wouldn't have had the right suit on. I remember when my grandfather uh, passed away during the height of COVID, and this, you know, those were such strange times. They were. So um, we had the funeral. We were the graveside, and they're like, "Oh, we need everybody to disperse." We're like, they're like, "Well, we can't load them to casket because of COVID, or load them down, load them down with everybody here because of COVID." <laughs> <laughs> what does that, what? Have to do? that has nothing to do. Yeah, with they wouldn't. They wouldn't like let him let him sit, hang around, and chill out, and talk while he was lower oh, down because of COVID. I got it. He had to be six foot distance between y'all. That's <laughs> what <laughs> it was. <laughs> Boy, Gary's on a roll. He's tonight. on a roll. He is. Hey, Look, back in front of my grandpa in the process. <laughs> hey, hold right. on. To make I this your worse, grandpa. A good guy. To make this worse, so the uh, funeral director wasn't there. So the, there was a lower-level employee that had to deal with this. He's texting the funeral director, and the funeral director tried to argue with the folks that that was their dad <laughs> in the <laughs> casket that they had to did he say body. like? Did he say, like, you know, sometimes when you pass away, you don't look the same? I would have probably tried that. Yeah, but, yeah, but like, uh, he might be bloated. Uh, but they could have had two suits that was the same. Mm. I got to keep that six-foot distance, guys. The funeral director sent photos to the family in an effort to demonstrate it, that it was their loved one. <laughs> so then, dude. <laughs> they argued sent, with him. They argued with the family and sent pictures. No wonder they're suing this dude. Okay, okay, they, okay. Yeah. That hey, they already married the other guy? But hold on. Tell me this. <laughs> why <laughs> they hold on. Did it but why one. the hell would the funeral director have pictures of this dude's dead body? Think about that for a minute. I mean, I'll take pictures of my work. So what if, wait, what if they <laughs> cremated? Uh, hey, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Out. What if they so cremated? This that was, makes this sense. This was days in advance. They explained that he had a cauliflower ear, so they knew it wasn't him. That's the only way you could so tell. Look, the dude, that's dude, say, this is really weird. So because, the dude look. still argued, and they said that's not him. But two days later, miraculously, the right body was in the casket when it was time for the funeral. Oh, okay. So okay, they what, are you what are you suing for? But but dude's claiming that it was the body there all along. So I don't know. This one's got some weird twists and turns. <sighs> I think we could make a Netflix special out of this. It could be. They did it. Well, they did a movie about it. Wicked the Bernies. It would. Yeah. Uh, no, that's the presidential cycle right now. <laughs> it would have yeah. been better if they had went ahead and they had done. Uh, Gary, you got a fam- You got a, a dad joke on that one? No, not yet. Oh, okay. No, he's, 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 he's still laughing. My grandpa. <laughs> yeah. That's just my grand. My grandmother passed away too. You got something to say? I don't have a mom or dad either. Just <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't during <laughs> COVID. Nah. Not infectious, then I guess. I don't know. I, I, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing right now. I'm dry, Jeremy. I used up all my good Well, I think this stuff. one's going to prompt some nice uh, wet responses from you. Uh, a man is claiming he he was infected with drug resistant E. coli in his uh, penis from a bidet. Doctors say there's more likely a more. What was he doing with a bidet? He was shooting, yeah. shooting up the pee hole. Yeah. That's not where that hose goes. No, but and it that's... left him urinating blood for days. Oh yeah, I'm sure it was that much pressure. He initially thought it was a cold, but turned out it was a e. coli. And who has a penis cold? <laughs> it goes. Well, that thing sneezed today. It was leaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the infection comes from it's got, it's feces, got a was resistant to standard antibiotics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. um 
Yeah, they want to uh, die for. Hey, hey Nate. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're suggesting he got it from putting that thing where it shouldn't go. Yeah, the bidet in the wrong hole, you know? Yeah. Look, that's always the answer. That, that's always the answer. You the put bidet. It, you, no, you put it where it didn't belong. It yeah. didn't have instructions. That, that, look, if people stop doing that, it probably solve a lot of problems in the world. <sighs> However, a bidet does get you pretty clean, I heard. I've, oh, you, you've you tried one? No, I haven't. But You're I, a liar. I, I, no, I know my aunt has a bidet. Look, so a lot of times no, I, I do a handstand and get in the shower. One. You do handstand? <laughs> That's, yeah, that I, I'm like more impressed that you're back, doing the handstands. The stuff that we didn't get in your hair back. Yeah, that's you, thought, you, know, you know, that's why you need that sheetrock man over there. That's right. You think that you, you being upside down, getting your butt washed by the shower, unsettled me more than you just standing on your hands? If it doesn't, so look, you stand on my hands, it's got me crazy right now. The believe that this dude was um, doing things with. Yes, yeah, so he, he, he was. But it's painted with his human. wife. So, look. and uh, is trying to explain it away. Oh, I'll, so, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll never, I'll never forget so this. This bidet. was years ago, mm-hmm. and um, maybe her name was Bidet. It was, it was the middle of August in, I, in I the south, more of a dude, but, and it was yeah. hot. And Charlie shows up at the house. We had been very long. Charlie shows up at the house, and the guy I worked with was sitting on the front steps with his girlfriend. We're sitting out there talking. I remember this. Story. Yeah, and Charlie says, "Uh." It's hot out here. Y'all come inside. I'm like, oh, God. So they walk inside. They sit down. And within 30 seconds, ter- first time Charlie ever met these people, the girl says, I got chlamydia. <laughs> Hold on. She just like in normal she conversation. Just broke out and said did, you, did Charlie say, get off my couch? No, Charlie's like, just staring. And I was like, oh. so, you know, <laughs> she said, but don't worry. You know, I got it from him, but I think he got it from the porta potty at work. And, you know, uh, yeah, I'm like, sure he did. <laughs> well, she's not passing that intelligence. No, yeah, no, no. She, she's good small talk. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> yeah. So they leave, and Charles like, "Why the hell did you?" I said, "No, no. I had him sit on the concrete outside <laughs> because I already knew." How? Hold on, though. What kind of weird things were you talking about that that just comes up in conversation? No, it's just Gary has not once said. I no, mean, I have no. Chlamydia. It's just like uh, you know how y'all doing? My cooter riches. I got chlamydia. I'm not sure how oh, I can what? remember. You said you already knew. No, yeah. no, I know. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm stuck in my mind. What? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You see, closed the loophole. See, Marty over here is paying attention. <laughs> Mar- Marty. <laughs> Marty's paying attention. <laughs> so, uh, no, sh- I know because he told me. <laughs> He's a real life Sherlock she, Holmes right here. He well, had, I got a call from the doctor. Said you didn't know. He had already told you that she had come No, they both told me. Like, this was free information. They were just handing this out. This is just conversation. So they figured we should tell his so wife. they told they you and then told Charlie. But how, don't, how would that, unless things were. Uh, no, no, no. It was such a casual, like, you know, what is hot yeah, outside. No, I'm not uh, talking about your wife. No, I'm talking uh, about how'd you know. They told me. They just like, yeah, uh, we got the clap. And it was active, like, uh, out Well, I worked, with the, I worked work? with the guy, and he was like. Yeah, but I work with a lot of people. No one's ever told me they got the clap. <laughs> you don't work with treasure workers. That's. <laughs> You, Construction workers are different, dude. How do you bring that up so subtly in a car, like in conversation, but, any conversation? But you know what? Ever. The, the the hole I got for the porta potty, I was like, oh, bruh, bruh. bruh. Hey, as we've discussed, <laughs> the front of the uh, the yeah seats can. missing for a reason. For a reason. yeah, yeah. No, although we all, Is that even I, I, I'm pretty sure it's not no, for the porta potty. Possible. I mean, you would have to be... Viruses don't last very long outside the body. Like, you would have to be, like, on the way out touching penises with another dude on the way in. <laughs> I'm not sure that would do it. You could sometimes um, do that, I guess. I don't know. I ain't trying it. <laughs> so, uh, you guys remember the movie Day After Tomorrow? Yes. I what, like that. Do you oh, remember that's what triggered movie. that uh, change in climate all of a sudden? Uh, the Day After Tomorrow. Oh, I was thinking 26 days later. 28 days. 28 days later. Look, 28 days, days off. after tomorrow. You, that was that other movie, 28 Days After Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. uh, what triggered it? I don't remember. Right, I remember. I don't remember. Because I got a story about it. I was thinking of the core. I know it People triggered that one. People are believing that the Gulf Stream is on the verge of collapsing. And this is what led during that movie to the sudden changes and uh, setting in of a new ice age in the Northern Hemisphere. Why, mm. we, why are we believing it's going to collapse? 44 of the world's leading climate scientists say that the key Atlantic Ocean currents, including the Gulf Stream on the brink of failure. Now, here's the thing. They're probably trying to blame it on global warming, but they don't really know why. I mean, it could be. Look, things change. The earth changes. It's, Our poles are going to change. They've done it a couple yes, of times. Yes, it's happened. Our yes. poles change all the time. Gary's bipolar. <laughs> 
That's how he got the clap. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but I think yeah. it's just called the weather. Well, no, oh, it's, called, it's called the climate. Yeah, the climate. It's called Earth. And it's constant. Yeah, I mean, weather, weather changes. We know climate changes for over sure the centuries, and it does. It does. We were all covered in ice. Well, this whole Earth was practically covered in ice, not that but long. But we're right? all old enough to remember when, uh, when it was covered in ice. Well, no, global uh, freezing. Yeah. And then global warming. That was probably Go for it. most of us. But yeah, the yeah we all know about it. No, no. Well, I mean, I remember it was in the seventies, which yeah, it went on for a while. Which honestly, global freezing would make more sense to to sell it to the public because there's more people that die. Yeah, exactly. uh, of Look, of coldness I, than heat. I go back and say year. the problem with global warming, or they say the the oceans rising. Banks would not lease property. Plymouth Rock. And allow, yeah. and allow Plymouth Rock is the same place it yeah. was. Follow you know, the, the money. Follow, follow the money. Yes. Follow the money. They would not allow construction on oceanfront property if the ocean was rising. Exactly. Period. Per. So, uh, as usual, we're in the wrong part of Arkansas. Southern part of Arkansas, they have determined is full of lithium, and there's $150 billion of white gold in the southern, southern part of Arkansas. Woo! White gold might be meth in Arkansas. <laughs> No, that's blue gold. <laughs> Lithium mine, a huge uh, swath. Vein. Of Deposit. Vein, that's the word Deposit. I was thinking. Vein. Of lithium that old, has been that old big vein. in no. southern Arkansas. Throbbing <laughs> vein. <laughs> Throbbing vein. Is that where your hunting club is? Where's Between it 5 and 19 Where's million it tons of lithium in the Smackover <sighs> formation near Smackover, Arkansas. Look, I'm going to get a shovel. <clears throat> <laughs> just start shoving up. We all kind of twisted like yeah. young slow. <laughs> Jeez, a lot of lithium. But look, that changes things because up until then, man, you can only get lithium from so uh, I mean, you China. Still, you still can only get it from little uh, poor children. So now we get it from little Arkansas children. Yeah. So is Arkansas going to be known for lithium and not diamonds no more? Uh, that's just proven how great Arkansas is. Oh, we got that's diamonds. Right. We got lithium. We well, got, you you we put got lithium meth. on your teeth? Yeah. So um, it's spooky season, Halloween. Halloween may be actually tomorrow night. Hallelu. Uh Trick or treating. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be trick or treating this year. Why not? Ball game. Uh, yeah, last ball game season. The, we got to buy this week or last week. But a, <laughs> how do you have a ball game this week? Game on Halloween. I know it's weird. Man, our town sucks on planning. They, they do. do. They, they don't, do. They don't pay attention to shit. But anyway, but you know what? You know who's gonna be trick or treating? Uh, like, yeah, uh, us three. <laughs> trick or treating used to be like really creepy, uh, but today now it it's used to also be really awesome. Go get some. All some right, I'm gonna show you guys some balls. photographs. Oh, Check out had this. Popcorn now, ball. look, if you were to happen up on that dude while trick or treating, is he floating? He's got a weapon. I don't know, but it scared the crap out of you, Father Fort. Maybe probably now Gary would run in his little bunny suit. The He's got a trident. Scary than that. Well, look yeah, at them guys. Right hold there. it. Go look back. Go back to that previous picture. Gary, how's that a trident? Okay, it's got one, two, three. It's four. It's He's a quadrant. A it. It's He's a quadrant. It. He's a quadrant. <laughs> but look at these folks. Now, that scared the crap that, out of some children. That, <gasps> I didn't even that, know it's the baby. No, no, oh, no. Oh, Hold up, no. They is got, that a hand holding the baby up? No, it's a no, baby. No, those, those so are racist look, buckets. Look at the buckets. I know, that's... They're you not can, racist. Those are pump, real pumpkins they've carved. Why do they have the... What's they must the, have carved them last what's year. That, what's it called? Uh... What I don't know. Black when face. They, we just blackface. What well, they had a show style? Well, they put uh, put black makeup on white. There's a lips. Halloween party from know. 1928. Now that don't they look, just look like a bunch of. That, now that no, my, that's messed up. That's freaky. <laughs> that's messed up. Uh, that's just that's just that's kind of sexy. Weird. Uh, apple bobbing. Let's see, when I was a kid, we oh, there's bobbing. a trick. That's, that's, that's kind of hot. There's a trick to apple bobbing. I learned this doing it at Monkey's house. You know. Apple bobbing. I'm worried about that. Whoa. What's going on there? I don't know. What These is... kiddos are picking pumpkins straight from the pack. Looks like they're stealing them. That's what it looks yeah. like to me. Tiny Tot with a big ass knife. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Those are letter Wait, look, back there were zero F's given, man. <laughs> That's Just awesome. Give the baby a chainsaw. Give the baby a chainsaw, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mom helping hers. This must be poor folks. They just give them a <laughs> knife and a pumpkin. Get baby. at it. Um, what's this one? Bewitching that's a, Salem. That's a sorting hat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's neat looking. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Well, them first few are scary. That I'm top sure hat. Is that a top hat? There. <laughs> that's freaky. Big ass pump. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good. That's, that's a, a good, good one. one right there. Now that's good. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Uh, 
Okay, that's weird. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, what good. are you going as, Gary, this year? Uh, uh, bunny rabbit? Probably bunny rabbit. Yeah. It's cold. It's going to be cold. Yeah. It's anyway. either going to have lots of mosquitoes or be cold. Again. It'll probably be cold. Actually, a good chance of rain. I think rain's coming into the area for Halloween. I saw that, yes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it, it is. Rainy. It's been dry for a while. Oh, now. yeah. Yep. Which means I'll be sitting in the rain watching football during Halloween night and be even but, more. Which also sad. means. Uh, it just means. Hopefully we'll be gone by the time the youth, uh, deer, uh, the youth hunt starts. It just means we'll have wet candy, guys. Uh, no, here's a couple of life candy. hacks. 24 <laughs> life hacks. I wish I knew this yesterday. Life hacks that changed everything for people to try them. Number one, I will say it out loud when I turn stove burners off, unplug my hair straightener, I found this helps me eliminate those moments where I leave the house or I'm in bed and suddenly like, did I leave that on? That's stupid. What? 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 Okay, I, that, I, turn I, it off all your stuff. Uh, okay, yeah. shouldn't you do that anyway? That's not right. Why would you why leave it on? I, I didn't leave my <laughs> oven on. This, yeah. Yeah. Instead of scrubbing dishes, fill the sink with water, some the dish detergent, some OxyClean, let them soak for a while. I think that's just Look, smart. That's a lazy person trick. That I do that a, all the time. That takes too much time. I'm like, <laughs> man, I don't want to do dishes around the sink. Let me fill it full of water and let them soak for a minute. Yeah. This is also another la- lazy person, th- person thing. For chores that I don't like to do, I set a timer for four minutes. Okay, I'm going to wash dishes for four minutes. Then we'll take a break. Uh, How much dishes can you do in four minutes? You can I do quite a bit. Fast. I, you got paper um, plates. I, I, I do have paper plates. It, it takes me about four minutes to wash these clean cans. After this <laughs> thing out of the oh, I've never heard of you this know what? one. Honestly, loading the dishwasher is not hard. I hate unloading the dishwasher. Yeah, same. Uh, store potato chips, tortilla chips in the freezer. They will never go stale. They don't okay, just that, freeze and get cold. See, no, that's a that. life hack. That's a life hack. We hmm. used to freeze our bread all the time. We do, We still do. Not I used even to. remotely close to what he's talking about, but okay, Gary. Yeah, yeah uh, freezer but bread. potato chips. Here, put we, we used to freeze our meat. <laughs> we still do that. Now we just leave it outside. <laughs> but how do you eat your meat? This person keeps markers on the fridge and write throw out date on anything that is uh, a use within X days. Okay, whatever. Right on my kids. <laughs> feel terrible. My grandmother always said, if you feel terrible, get out of bed, shower, do your hair, and put on clothes, down to your shoes, and have a good meal. Either this will fix it, or at least you're dressed and fed and in a better place to deal with the problem. Okay, I, 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 I can I, buy that. I buy that. I buy that. Yeah. Because if you lay in the bed, you're just going to stay Like a lot depressed. of times, if I have a, a, a really bad uh, like hangover, yeah. I just get up, get going, and you know. It'll yeah. make you forget about it. Read the three and four star reviews for the most reliable information on Amazon. Okay. Yeah, agreed. If you have an itchy mosquito bite, heat up a spoon under hot water, dry it off, and tap or press it on the bite. We don't I don't think we get big mosquito bites. We've what? been bitten by mosquitoes for forty years. Hmm. Um Ziplocs right on them. Cornstarch or baking soda on goopy or oily messes. Okay, that's like kitty litter. Yeah. Um, here's uh, one for us old people. Get into routine of stretching your hip flexors and chest if you sit for a long time. Okay, I stretch I, a lot. Uh, these are boring. What's some good uh, life hacks y'all y'all do yourself? Uh, now I, this one I think Charlie may have got this from Ginger. I'm not 100 percent sure, but like we'll go buy like a a 10 pound thing of a uh, beef yeah. ground beef, mm-hmm. cut it up, put it in a ziploc bag, and flatten it out. Oh yeah, it'll freeze, freeze it. better and it'll come apart. It'll fall, it'll, it'll, it stacks better. Too. Yeah, it stacks yeah. better. It falls better. So there you go. Here's a good one. This one uh, I do this actually. Send a text to yourself to remind you to do something. I do oh, that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Mm. Gary, what's a life hack you do that would help us all? Uh, I don't know. I don't have. I. I I'm sure I have things that I do, but you guys just. Well, okay, here's another life hack I use. I don't know. If I, full of. If I'm, a, if I'm too intoxicated, I'm driving, I try to stay in the right hand lane. I, I think that's more of a stay out of jail hack than a life hack, Jamie. No. Uh, <laughs> what's a good one? Give us a good one. Good one, Gary. Uh, what, Gary, you're on the spot. It's up to you. I, I, I don't Cameras have everything. There I, you go. I, I don't have nothing right now. Uh, I, I oh, right. here's my life hack. You know, I too late. I, I get out of time. I, I get the uh, the the dial shampoo. That's hair, hair wash and body wash and all in one. So that we don't have to have uh, soap and shampoo. Go, Marty. That's weird. Keep your good bourbon in the house because it gets too hot in the shop. Oh See, yeah, I think it needs to stay out in the shop to get hot and cold. But mm-hmm. anyway, uh, thirty-seven an dated pop culture references that young people just did not understand at all. Have we ever talked about that's that? That's radical. 
How about um, tape player or cassette? I got clues talked about it. So uh, who still too? who still says that somebody released an album? Because I do. I've heard that. Yeah. No, I don't mean sure. to. They nah. say it on on the internet. Oh, do they? Is that still yeah. a okay? Yeah, album because they still album get, coming out. They still Friday get or whatever. Yeah. yeah, gold albums and platinum albums. Yeah, they still. They still also get them lithium albums. Yeah, we get lithium and meth albums. You got to say, come to Arkansas for the meth stay because you sold yeah. your car for meth. Does anybody still have a cassette player? I t- had to test a cassette no. the other day. But I had for what? First, I don't you worry about what I'd be selling. First movie is going to be released on VHS in like 23 years. That new Alien uh, movie. Requiem. Com- yeah. It's yeah. coming out on VHS. So all those people out there that aren't into big VHS like I am, VHS is making a turn in like uh, a lot of... Scary movies, people want their movies on VHS. Really? Why? Yes. Why? Why? Because it just seems it looks better. Like if, no. if you get a if you get a scary movie in high def, people do not like it. They like the scary looking they like, like if you, Halloween on VHS looks is, way is better. Is it the same reason that like the original <laughs> Night of the Living Dead and Black yeah. and White is scary? Yeah, that's what, so. that's what it is. It, it feels more homey, I guess. And that's what it is. They've had a, like uh you know that Terrifier two yeah, Terrifier. Three. Three, three. One, I didn't one, know there was one, one out. One's one on Netflix now. One of them just recently came out on VHS oh, at Walmart. Really? At Walmart had it. Really? And people went crazy for it. Can you still yes. buy a, a VCR? Uh, yeah, I have like five or six of them. You can get them at Goodwill. You Here's can't buy one. You can't buy Check a new one. No. <laughs> they said my coworkers didn't know who Jerry Springer or Maury was. What? what? Man. How old were they? How, you know? oh. How do you know you're not the father? You got to watch Maury. You got to take a test. Yeah, watch more more. Oh, here's one we talk about four. Oh, uh, more twenty year old at their job didn't know how to read an analog clock. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people that cannot read an analog or clock. Or writing cursive. Or right. Cur- We've talked about that. Yeah, we have. It, it, and I'm gonna say this again. I'm gonna get because this is a hill I will die on. I think our government does not want us to be able to read in cursive, so eventually they can not tell us. We will not know what's in the uh, Constitution, Constitution, Constitution or the Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence, Declaration of Independence. Independence. None of that. We will not be able to read it. Well, a we're, dumb. We're gonna put it in type. A dumb citizenry can be controlled. And mm-hmm. they're pretty dumb. I bet they couldn't pass that intelligence test I gave the other night. A few months ago, I was talking to my 11 year old niece about music and asked her if she liked Madonna. She didn't know who Madonna was. Madonna like really old too. She, Madonna's disgusting. She has not put anything out in the last what 10 years. No, she put something out, but it ain't been music. <laughs> oh here's yeah. One. I asked a question to a class of 13, 14 year olds. When no one answered, I said, Bueller, Bueller, and nobody knew. So, are they not playing Ferris Bueller's Day off for you? Well, why would the 13 and 14 year olds know about Ferris Bueller? Not in these days, they wouldn't. My kids don't know who Ferris Bueller is. My oldest oldest knows who Ferris Bueller is, but not not my 16 year old. He has no clue. He has not a clue. I'm not sure my wife knows who Ferris Bueller is. Yeah, she does. Oh, yeah, surely. Surely. Even Marty knows who Bueller is, and he wouldn't even own stripes. That's true. Do you know it's who a it is, TV Marty? show too. Yeah, he had that red car. Yeah, he had that red car. Well, no, what no, red it, car? It was his best no, friend's it, red car. Yeah, they just took it for a spin. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go. My twenty-seven-year-old coworker, boy, this makes me feel old. Had never heard the thong song. The thong, the thong. Not only I heard it, we, we used to have that? it at the club. Cisco, Cisco, Cisco yeah. Oh, yeah, Cisco with the glove, that glittery thong, glove. Thong, thong, thong. They probably ain't heard of Cisco either. Well, yeah, the uh, company the that drink. <laughs> <laughs> they sell pizzas and yeah, so and the, the company that oh, works in sells uh, cafeteria food. <laughs> they were looking at a box of large size latex gloves and mentioned that uh, if the glove don't fit, you must have quit. And twenty eight year old didn't know what that. Ah. Didn't know but, what it was. Yeah, but why would a twenty eight year old know though? Because I mean, they should be informed. They, they know about informed. stuff from the seventies and the sixties. We do. They probably don't teach it. They're more about class. yeah, but let's be let's look. They should, OJ OJ Simpson trial should be taught in history class. That should be. It was a big thing. So I have a big pet peeve when I hear. I pe- don't know. Look, just <laughs> I think I'm, it should I'm be. side railing here. But when I hear people say, you know, they're not teaching this in history and stuff like that. I know you're just making a joke, but when people bitch about that, I try to tell them history never stops. It, yeah. Right now is history. Yeah. So at what point in yesterday in seventh history. grade should they discuss that? Here's a good example of um, the black neighborhood in Tulsa that got burned down. A lot of people don't know Hollywood, about this. Black Hollywood. Black Hollywood. Yeah, Black well, Hollywood. These are these Oh no, are, Black Wall Street. Yeah, Black Wall Street. That was these it. are big events, but yeah. with a school that has about 
45 minutes a day of history. At what point does this get involved? Because they're just doing the they're doing the nuts and bolts of it, and moving on. No, yeah. I, I mean they should teach history all the way up. To, yeah, yeah, but it should be on people uh, on us yeah. once we got school to right. keep researching. Here, history. here, here's the thing. I mean, are we in? When I ask this question, because they, they talk about it all the time on Tim Cash, I listen to it. it. Makes sense. In the history books, do you think in the future that we'll look back and it'll say where we're at right now was in the start? Of World War Three, I think when we, I or think in the middle the of it, I, here's what I, I don't think. think so. I think when the history books they look back in, in fifty years from now, they'll look back and so the early twenties and the mid or early twenty twenties and mid twenty twenties, that will be when Life of Pedro got started. All right, I think but, they but, definitely but, thought but, it. You, you talk about that, but I want to ask you a question, and it's very provocative to think about. I love provocative. Do we have, do we have people in this country that are that strong in their beliefs? and even have the the intestinal mental fortitude to stand up to the government? Or are they all like, okay, I hate it, but I've got yes. such a sweet deal. Why would I rock yes, it? Yeah. But, but they're considered zealots. Yeah. So do you really but, but do you really think people are going to rise up? I don't know if they will. I, I don't, don't think, think they will. You'll have a group that will. My wife no. thinks I'm anti-government, and I am. But you're libertarian. I, I think, yeah, yeah but I mean, you I know. think a government is useful, but not to the extent where we're at right now. No, uh, no, this no. is going to be the last one to talk about historical. Last year, I dressed up as a pink lady from the movie Grease. This was not me, but someone online. Yeah. For Halloween oh. and a work, a young lady asked if I was dressed as Barbie. Now, look, if you've not seen Grease, never seen Grease. You know, French fries are fried yeah, in Greece. Yeah, damn lie. That's what French fries. I've seen, <laughs> yeah, damn lie. I've seen, I've seen parts of Greece. You never seen it all the way through? Dude, Greece yeah. is like awesome. Yeah. Really like the is. stuff that they I, say. I, I'm in like heterosexual. Their songs I don't watch it. Now, that is oh, not a Greece PG is movie. Awesome. <laughs> mm, that's awesome. I mean, uh, so like this might, be, this might be the laugh I think about. It. So we was in, I'm glad you make yourself laugh. We were in the we were in school talking about it. In uh, Dirty Dancing. The whole th- the whole p- plot of the movie is that uh, a, a girl has a, a bad abortion and uh, yeah, and like everybody's like what yeah yeah See, that's what that. it was yeah. Yeah. there were some young people that had watched that the movie know. as more of a child yeah and like they had oblivious. to go back and rewatch it and they're like you're right yeah but, but, they but, missed over they missed but Greece the has the same undertones you just don't realize they're not not uh, not the same yeah, not abortion, you never but watched like, it so but it's well, about you know your activities yes and so yeah so I hear that was not a PG Greece. It's not a PG movie. All right. I, it's, I, it's worse than that. All right. Now I'm going to get into this thought provoking story. I, no, I have okay, seen it. It's Cry not Baby. funny, but I got it. It's going to take me a minute. I have seen Cry Baby. Too. What's that about? Is that with Johnny Depp? Yes. I, Cry I never, Baby is one of my favorite all time movies. It's got Hatch and Face in it. It's just like Grease, but it's like a knockoff of Grease. It's got. Um, Maybe I'll check it's it Johnny out. Depp. Johnny Depp. I haven't seen the movie. Uh, I know Ricky, what you're talking Ricky about. Ricky Lake's Ricky you've, you've never seen that. Ricky never seen Lake's the movie. Oh, I know the movie. I thought it was Hairspray was Ricky Lake. Is it mm. not? Okay. All right. Thought, this, thought provocative. This is going to be very provocative. Provocative. Ooh. Okay. Thought provocative. Um, a 14-year-old ninth grader in Orlando uh, joined a chat, bot, a chat bot. Okay. It was called, um, hold on, let me get there, character.ai. Okay. Was there, it, it was designed, you could get this on your phone, to always text back and always answer in character. He uh, had this friend he called Danny. It was more of a love interest. Uh, wasn't a real person, despite the app having disclaimer to bottom at all the chats that reads. Remember, everything characters say is made up, but it's a young guy. Probably shouldn't have been on there in the first place. But he did tell uh, Danny how he hated himself and how he felt empty and exhausted. Um, he would like spend hours and hours in his room. He become detached and just talking to the chat bot. Well, he got in trouble. His parents took his phone away. Mm. He lost and, Danny. Yeah. Uh, then he was trying to reconnect with her with any computer, oh, with Danny's tablets. Girl. Well, well but, it, it, it was a guy AI. and that was a girl. Yeah. Uh, but let me get this other part. Um, so. Just a second. His parents didn't realize how serious he was about it. And he stole the phone back. Um, He said, I'm staying in my room so much that he wrote this in his journal because I start to get detached from this reality. And I also feel more at peace, more connected with Danny, much more in love with her and just happier. His parents figured they were having a problem, took his phone. 
Um, he wrote in his journal he was hurting because he couldn't stop thinking about Danny and that he'd done anything to be with her. He, he took his phone on the night of February 28th. He then retreated to the bathroom in his mother's house to tell Danny he loved her and that he would come home to her. And she responded, please come home to me as soon as possible, my love. Uh, what if I told you I could come home right now? She said, please do my sweet king, in which he put a forty-five to his head. Wow. Mm. Well, that's why uh, phones are dangerous, you know? There was a movie it, about this was, sort of already. It's called yeah. Her. Yeah. Actually, it is. Yeah. And uh, Mach- Machada? Ex Machina. Ex Machina. Ex Machina. Yeah. Machina. Machina. That movie ends creepy. It does. It's a great movie. I really like yeah. that movie. It is. Um, so, <sighs> this is terrible. I, and I don't, I mean, do you blame AI? Do you blame the. I well, mean, that's just, they've sued the AI company. You. Um, uh, can, you yeah. But can you? You I can't. Mean, you, you can't. Who gave the child the phone and who, allowed him to install, allowed him that. To st- install the that? Didn't know that about this. They, I mean, they probably know, knew but, something. But, but, was but going here's, on, but but here's they can't think about though an adult, an older adult. They can't really accept the fact that this kid is in love with a machine that's going to say whatever they want to. Right? Think about an older person first hearing about AI. They're going to tell you that's stupid. Right? Yeah, they, it they can't. Are. But these That's kids right. are in a different spot than we, than than say older people than we were. <laughs> They're much more gullible. For How long one ago thing. was this? This just earlier this year. <sighs> it, it was real. So to are, him. so are are that many? Because they're I've his, never heard of this character. But, but his parents are going to be our age. Yeah, probably. How many people? I mean, I guess there's a lot of people our age are completely unaware of what goes on with like AI and any of it. Do we have a leg up Look, because of what, what we do for There's a- probably a ton of like adult men that are out here having relationships with these. And you know what? You go do your thing, homie. Because you also probably got a, a, a doll in the closet somewhere that kind of looks like one of them. But, man, it, these kids have to be protected from this shit. Well, that's what's going to happen in our society if we ever can get AI into a person. People will marry these robots and not other people. 100%. I have-, have you ever seen the Futurama? Yeah. With uh, Fry, who ends up yeah. marrying like Lucy, a uh, fake Lucy Lou See, robot or something. I, look, I hate to end on a sad note like this, but this was, I read this and it provoked some emotion, some thought, and very provocative concept. And this is the type of thing our kids are up against that we could never even consider. I know what could we would have done them? if we had character.ai, there's no telling what we'd had that thing talking about. In oh. a room full of kids, we wouldn't be locked in a room <laughs> alone. By no, that's just but, it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if it's we, different today. Geez. This kid thought he was having a relationship with whatever's on the other end there, and was he or was it or was he not? I don't. You know, this is where you get into this damn gray area. And like I said, I mean, I don't, I don't feel that the okay how grammar okay. is responsible. I don't either because look, our kids today have relationships with people they've never met online. I mean, we do to an extent. We have a lot of people relationships with folks that are, we think they're real humans, uh, be, it, be it through YouTube or other things. But is that any different than somebody you're never going to meet that you have this perfect human or person on the other end that's answering every question like they're supposed to? How far away do you guys think we are from AI having rights? Well, they claim that human... Psyche will be able to upload like by 24. I, I fully believe that as long as we have bleeding heart liberals, they will go to they will go to bat for uh, AI. Yeah, I think so. They will say we you can't use them that slave labor. You can't. That's what the but that's what caused them to raise up in those movies, right? Was we, they were slaves. Well, so maybe the liberals are going to help us. They'll keep us from getting. Push Termin- down by the Terminator. No, no, like well, because the, liber- the liberals will oh. help the robots. Robots are cleaning up all the crap, and then they get mad because they're having to clean up all the crap. Uh, man, hmm. we're living in a different world. And what's crazy is, I'm, and I'm 43. What's crazy is it's at the palm of your hand. It ain't like well, when no. we were kids. So we had like, to dial into the internet. I don't know if y'all can hear them in the background. They've been a little loud today, but I have a six year or seven year old and nine year old in there. You got. A, Two year old, three, three, three year old. Yeah. What is the world going to be for them? Because this stuff is real for them. The thing is, by the time they're older, there will be at least a better understanding of this stuff. The thing is, right now, this is also new. There's yeah, a lot like, of understanding like of it. Then three, 
and your grandbaby, they're going to be raised in a iRobot type environment. Yeah, I, I, I really do. Yeah, 100%. Really. We might not see it, but the next, the generation below us is 100% going to have AI robots. Yeah. and That's why you got to keep them doing other stuff. Yeah. You got to keep their yeah, mind they're still going to exist. I, mean, I know, but you still got to keep them... In the field or anyone, whatever. Anyone out sport. there. Well, look, my kids will be poor. They can't afford nothing anyway. So yeah, but yeah, that, look, that's what I'm doing for my kids. I'm your a daughter. Poor. Your daughter will be rich. <laughs> yeah, she she she'll be successful. Mm. I promise you. Okay. <sighs> look, sorry to live on a. That's probably the saddest note we've left on. But that's it sad. was so provocative to me that to, when I read that. I had to bring it up. It opens up so many doors. You, you just, yeah. So leave in the chat comments what you think about all this. But Martin, hit that button. Father Fortenberry. I'm going to go get me a robot. <laughs> I want one so bad. I'm yeah. sure you will. Like a glory hole robot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Lick of ridiculous. We wouldn't expect a nut now. Yeah. Father, uh, <laughs> Father, Father Gary. Father Gary. Father Gary. Everyone needs to go out there and watch the movie Idiocracy if you want to know what's going on with our society these days. Yeah, she kind of plays, uh, she plays uh, Kamala too. So yeah. go. Bourbon nerd. See y'all. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for talking about it. Tell your friends about us. Tell everybody about us. We're trying to give away some Blantons if anybody wants it, but we got to get some subs to get there. Uh, happy Halloween and uh, get out and vote. We'll see y'all election night. Life petty, but we out here. How long?